we are starting our day finally, 10 o'clock. We've actually been going since, well, technically Abby woke me up at six o'clock with a fever. So she took some medicine and went back to bed, told her to keep in bed and not go to school. We knew she was probably getting sick last night, even though she wasn't testing with the temperature. Hang on one second. It's hard to get through my neighborhood when cars come down the hill. Anyway, so we knew she was possibly getting sick last night. She kind of felt achy, and but she wasn't te testing with the uh, temperature. The highest we could get it was like 96.1, I think. And so we just put her in bed, sent her to bed at like 8.30, I think. Um, she was kind of doing her normal routine, and I was like, Ab like hanging out, just not going to bed, and I was like, what are you doing? You don't feel good. So she went to bed and woke up sick uh, at six o'clock this morning. Um, so she's still in bed and just took some more medicine. It's been four hours since she took medicine before. Jason is on a conference call for work and then he is gonna go meet with a rep um, in person. He was supposed to go to Portland last Sunday um, for a shoe convention. I think it was a shoe convention. Um, Sometimes it's either a shoe convention or like a doctor convention. But I think this was a shoe one. So he's having one of the reps um, meet him at a hotel in Bellevue and they're gonna show, you know, he'll show Jason the shoes. So for those of you that are new, we are going to do a little updated video, Jason and I are this afternoon, talking about this whole coronavirus here in Washington and how it affects our family. Because I think it's good to see a perspective of what it's, you know, what it's doing and how it, you know, how it's affecting people, normal people, in a, in a small community. And we are the epicenter of this virus. And I, um, not that everyone is gonna see this video, but our friends and the people who follow from across the world will see what's going on and see what they can maybe do where they live and hopefully you'll be able to stop the spread of this virus and I feel like our little town and the city of Seattle is doing things in the right way in the right pattern in the right time frame and that's you know sometimes a hard pill to swallow and you know it's hard to do when you own a business as well and when you have a job and all that kind of stuff oh itchy nose so anyway we're gonna do that video later this afternoon but my life continues so we're gonna do a separate video um, just kind of showing what it looks like. Does Abby have coronavirus? There's a really high chance she does. Honestly, like her symptoms match, oh my nose, they match the symptoms that the rest of us have had lately, really closely. Um, they're not allergy symptoms, even though we all also have allergy symptoms, but if an itchy nose isn't proof that we have allergies, I don't know what it is. But it also, there's people, I hate when people park next to me when I'm trying to do this. <laughs> it's awkward, hang on. All right, that's better. Now no one is next to me and I think I just passed a cop, so. <laughs> We're in the clear. I went to the dollar store and then taking pants to Kaylee. She wore the wrong pants for PE day today. And so I'm taking her some like yoga pants and she wore jeans because that's not gonna work for, I think it's running day to day. Um, but while I drive, I'm gonna catch you up really quick. There's a really high chance that what we've had is the coronavirus, and it's very mild if you don't have these heightened, you know, sensitivities and whatnot. Oh, hang on. All right, now I'm not driving. <laughs> I don't think this is a better scenario. All right, so while there's a really high chance that what we have is, have had, and Abby has right now, is the virus. Um, we're getting mild symptoms because we're healthy and we're not falling in this demographic of high risk um, categories. Um, if we get a virus, it's not gonna attack our lungs, it's not gonna give us pneumonia, and it's not gonna make us pass away. We don't know, I'm not gonna get tested because they, first of all, they're telling you even if you do have symptoms to stay home and talk, contact your doctor if you don't get better. We get better 24 hours later, so we don't call a doctor, we don't do anything different. The difference is, I keep my kids home, 
I am keeping them quarantined for another 48, you know, for 48 hours after they've been better or whatnot, 24 hours after they've been better and no fever and whatnot. And then I'll send them back to school. But I also am keeping them home in general. I'm, when they get home from school, they wash their hands. And we'll t I'll talk about this a lot with Jason in a video that I'll do with him, but I'm trying to do my part to not spread it. Um, and that, we'll talk about that later. So she is going to stay home from school today. I am at the dollar store right now because <laughs> Jason sent a message to our friend last night who is the principal at our kids' middle school. I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine the stress and the, the hassle that she is in right now. People think that she has the decision of closing schools. She doesn't. It's not her decision. But the amount of work it's taking to prep work to make it happen, if it's going to happen or not happen, is probably really, really stressful. I mean, he made some kind of a comment yesterday in a text to her, basically saying, oh, I know you're probably not that busy. Your plate's not that full or anything. <laughs> I was like, nah, her plate's not full or anything. She has three kids and a husband, and she's a principal, and she also teaches online classes to colleges. Anyway, not busy at all. And so I'm going to go here to the dollar store, and I'm going to get her a plate. I'm going to fill it with some treats and a cold beverage and put it in a little care package and to drop it off at the middle school. They are not allowing volunteers to come to the school, um, so I don't think I'll be able to see her, but I'm going to drop it off at the front office and hopefully that will help her get through the day or at least be able to relax tonight. And I'm also getting some wrapping paper and some supplies for birthday presents for the kids. Um, normally I would just wrap it in the white butcher paper that I've got. But the bags that I got to wrap all of their birthday presents in are really, really cute. And you'll get it later. I haven't shown you. They're so cute. And it, there's a theme. And so I'm going to try and go along with that theme for their birthdays. And I'll have to wrap one at a time. Because anyway, you'll, you'll see soon. I promise you, you will see soon. But I'm going to go and get some supplies from the dollar store. And then run that stuff to the middle school. Kaylee's pants to her at the high school. And then go home. Hopefully Jason will be home soon after that. And we can do our little sit down video. Check on Abby. See how she's feeling. <sighs> and kind of go from there. And I think, I, might, I think the elementary school PTA president is going to pick up Chelsea from school today. Because she's going to get her daughter. It's talking to her. Like we'll talk about this in the other video. I don't want to like make this one like a ton of like verbiage. Because I was talking to her today at the bus stop. And... The amount of stuff that she's doing just for being a PTA president is incredible. We'll talk about that later. For now, let's go to the dollar store. All right, it's kind of noisy out here, but I've got a gift bag. And then I've just got a few things to give my friend here. I've got a little Sudoku book and a book to read. I don't know what that one's about, but they kind of looked good for a dollar. <laughs> and then I've got some bath bombs and some of those shower bombs, as well as some face wipes. And then I got some candy for her. So the idea is, I know she's got a lot on her plate. <laughs> so I've got her this plate. Um, so I, got, I know she's got a lot on her plate with all the stress at school. So I just wanted her to relax and take her mind off of her worries. And then I found the perfect wrapping paper to go with the gift bags I already got. And then look at these bows. Look at those bows. I normally don't worry about bows, but these ones are perfect. And you'll see later why. So I'm just going to wrap this stuff up really quick and then take it over to the school. All right, so I've got that all ready to go. <laughs> and they pass like oh there's a car oh, all right all right take you care are. bye like two star cross lovers crossing paths in the night he's headed over to his second conference of the day i'm gonna go in and check on abby i think i might just work on the computer because jason's not going to be more than an hour hour and a half i think and i want to be ready to film that second video for you guys just got an official word from the governor of Washington, that he is closing all school districts in three counties, King, Snohomish, and another county, basically all of the big cities. Um, and I don't know if Abby knows yet. She's homesick. She's going to be homesick tomorrow. But as of right now, she's home until the end of April. They're officially calling it until April 24th, which is technically three days after our vacation ends. Now we don't have to worry about being tired when we come back. We can just come home and sleep if we actually get to go. I'm actually worried about like the hotel we're going to and I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'm gonna go and tell Abby the news. Alexa, pause music. 
school is technically canceled. Oh, yes. For tomorrow? <laughs> no, until April 24th. Yes. Governor just called it. We haven't gotten word from the district yet, but that's just a formality. The governor required all districts to close down. Yes. <laughs> don't be excited or anything. Well, that means you don't have school until after the... Yeah, after. I really hope we get to go. I hope our resort doesn't shut down. Now we got to find something to do inside all the time. Yeah. Right when the weather finally gets good, huh? You don't feel I really don't good? Think I know. It just, you don't have enough energy to do anything, but yeah. you get bored doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Just keep drinking that water. Dad's going to be a little bit longer. We've convinced Dad. I, I sent him a message earlier today. I don't know, about like an hour ago. And I was like, you're going to be right by Chick-fil-A. So can you get some for your sick daughter? Okay, you have cups. That all is over. not mine. That one is over there. I guarantee no, you that's not. probably. Okay, pick. Uh, I'll, I'll show him the stack that you brought down that I brought down earlier for you. Anyway, we convinced him to get us the Chick-fil-A for the sick one. And then he just sent me a text like 10 minutes ago and he's like, hey, we're going to be a little bit longer here. But where's the stack? Oh, dad loaded it. Where did he put it? He must have. Oh, all these cups. Every single one of these, except for this guy here. That's all of these cups right here were in Abby's room. <laughs> Stinker. She's kind of silly. I gotta put all this stuff away. All right, it's officially official. Kids are out of school until April 24th. I'm not gonna move from this room because this is where the good light is. Um, not only did the governor declare school canceled, but the district just sent out a message saying that it is canceled. Sorry, my allergies. It's like the worst time to be touching your eyes. It's with this stupid virus. Um, and they also, they're obviously gonna have to like, update some information. We'll talk about this more in our other video that I'm going to do with Jason eventually. <laughs> He's still not home. They are talking about waiving any missed hours beyond a certain date if we can't make them up um, once we do return to school, which is nice because we would be going to school all summer long at this rate. <laughs> we would basically like not get a summer break. So that's nice. I don't know, it's hard for everything. So we'll talk about that later, but Jason's not home yet and he doesn't know when he's gonna be home. And Abby and I really want Chick-fil-A. So <laughs> I'm really anxious. Abby, do you wanna just go? Okay, we're gonna go. But also, because I'm feeling anxious and I didn't know for sure school was canceled and all that kind of stuff, I also just got really nervous about our trip to Hawaii. And so I emailed the owner of our unit that we're renting through Verbo. Um, I've been in communication with him and I was asking if we could add, add an extra day to our, so we have flight, we have a night flight and I hate not having a hotel to be at during the day before the night flight. So he said, yes, you, he has some extra days. So I was confirming with him that we probably would want to add a day to be able to work that through. But then he called me and he's like, you know what? Cause I asked him about like the worry of all this virus stuff and are they going to close the resort? Am I going to lose my booking or what is the feel on the Island? And he lives in California, but he's in very close um, contact with the airlines and with the resort itself and he's a part of the HOA because he owns the unit and so he's in the communication with a lot of people in Hawaii and he said everything's fine. Yes there's reported cases in Hawaii but they're doing what they need to do. Probably gonna close down schools there eventually but at the resort he said they're doing all the you know cautionary things. They're having everything wiped down multiple times during the day. They have sanitation stations set up. They have sanitizer set up. They have they're cleaning staff, cleaning all around the clock, sanitizing the rooms more than they would on a regular basis, which I don't know what that says. They have a liability themselves if someone got sick while they were at their resort. And so they have to go above and beyond and make sure that their resort is clean. And so the Hanawakai, which is where we're staying, is so far staying open. He's like, you know, we have a couple weeks left before you get here. I will be in touch with you if anything changes. And it was just nice to like talk to him. He's like, it's going to be okay. And I told him, I'm not worried about getting sick. I'm not worried about taking care of my own family. We're in quarantine now here at home. And so, you know, he's in California and I told him I'm from Washington and he's like, oh, okay. So you know what's going on. And you know, I'm like, yeah, because 
it's hitting Washington and California first. And so I said, I'm just gonna be cautious and I'm gonna come into your state or into Hawaii healthy and safe and do the things I need to keep myself clean. So it was nice to talk to him and kind of be reassured that at least for right now, they're very comfortable with people coming into the state coming to the islands, coming to the resort. Abby, let's go. But I'm just feeling so anxious because so many things are, you know, stacking up against this trip and I just don't want it to cancel. But I also might try and convince Jason to let us stay for a couple days. <laughs> they don't have school. I don't know, the only problem he has work and money, of course, renting it. Oh, he also said, but he said, you know what, book it through me personally. He's like, send me a personal message if you want to add an extra day or three or whatever you want to add and I'll have you send me a direct check afterward, after we decide that you're gonna stay, so that you don't have to pay the verbal fees. So that'll save us. He said it could, it could save me like 40, $50 a day with that booking. So that would really, really help and change our mind whether we stay an extra day. But then I'd have to look and see if there was a fee to change our flight. I don't know. I gotta talk to Jason about that because we don't have to go to school for a whole week after we get back now. All right. Right as we were deciding to go and get our own food, Jason texted me and said, hey, he's like, I, I'm leaving in five minutes. So he is almost home with our food. It's 3.30. Kaylee is really overwhelmed at school. She's probably on the bus now. She's really overwhelmed and I don't blame her. So I wanna be able to like talk to her when she gets home here in the next few minutes, kind of bring her back down. She's just, you know, it's just teenagers are getting information from wherever they're getting it and I wanna calm her down about it and and then we're gonna set up to film this video. And Chick-fil-A has arrived. Abby, your drink is here. Hi, Jace, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just chump uh, He's chump chains. <laughs> I'm just chicken nuggets. Uh-huh. All right, so Abby's been in here starting our break off right. All right, Abby? With a little uh, cookie dough. Don't you dare take my... No. Oh, no. <laughs> it's still good. Three seconds. There's no corona on it. <laughs> Abby, can you please get the towel? I gotta go to get Chelsea. He's messing me up. Can you grab that towel and wipe up the floor for me? Take care of this dough. Why is that Because... I had to get something out. Got in or out. How you doing? Good. School's canceled. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited about that? Oh, it smells so good out there. Let's roll our windows down. You having a good day? Yeah. Last day for girls on the run, though. <laughs> right? Oh, well. Sad. Wait, like five. Chelsea's Miss Popular. Everyone who walks by knows Chelsea. Right? Yeah. Should we say goodbye to your teacher up here? Yeah. You're going to be sad to not see her for six weeks? Six, six like weeks? Seven. Is that how long it's gone? Mm hmm What? Well, because it's spring break, too. And then a week after spring break. And plus, we're going to Maui in 29 days. <laughs> <laughs> She's keeping track. Yeah, somebody's Me keeping track. I'm not the only one counting down. Am I Everyone... to pull out or what? Um, you can, or you can just wait, because I want to say hi goodbye to her teacher. All right, we decided on our way home, Dad's going to go get a haircut. So That's here's his way. before, right? And then we'll get an after. He wants to get in the same spot to get my like before and after shot. You don't have to now, you just ruined it. <laughs> I know. Don't you want to do the like me sitting in the same spot, little cut edit thing? <laughs> All right, I'll get out of the car and do it. All right, there's the after. <laughs> <laughs> it's wet. Yeah. A bit. I wish I knew how to cut hair and I could just do it myself. I think it, we really need to learn. It's really easy. <laughs> two, two up the side and then a four on top and she just kind of blends a little bit like i know it's harder than it looks a good person always makes it look easier than it is yeah but i do Sit think down, we Charles. could do it i know i'm gonna trim up the girl's hair because i'm not gonna pay 18 to 25 dollars okay, to cut you your can hair only do, like, i literally am just, just that's all just i'm gonna do it when i get home ends. and then you can shower is that okay sure, sure. Oh, I done it with my glasses I oh, <laughs> now you're cooler. Okay, what are we up to? We're getting you gas? No, I'll do that tomorrow. Chelsea, we're not getting pizza. We're headed home, right? We're gonna go home. All right, in lieu of daddy getting a haircut, we're gonna go get hers cut really quick. Okay, let's show the back mm -hmm. the way it is before. 
let go of it. And we're just gonna trim up those bottoms real quick. All right, and there's Chelsea's after. That's I'd say I did a pretty good job. Can I see on the camera? Yeah, you can. See, no harm. A little bit of hair on the ground. A little bit. Little rabbits will come and get it for their little nests and foraging. Hair in a nest. Someone ate a chocolate chip cookie already. Do you want to see it on the camera real quick? Okay, let's cut your hair too. Why do I have to cut my hair? Just trim it. I cut my hair like. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. Just like my ends. Of my yeah, hair. just the ends. All right, I did Ashley's and now I'm doing Abby's, but he won't be able to tell. But we've got split ends on her hair, clear up to here. So that's a lot to cut off, and I don't feel comfortable doing it myself. Yeah, she's she got there's, there's little pieces clear up here. So she's okay with cutting all of that off and having it. It'll be really healthy, Abby, mm -hmm. if like if we get it cut off to like right there and take that down this will like be way better you snaggle this all the time anyway mm -hmm. so i think we're gonna go and get that done tomorrow yeah, so probably. you're off the hook from mom doing it if you can't tell already oh my gosh yes you can look at my eyes can you see that it is so red and the more i'm doing my allergies are going nuts i've just been standing outside on the porch cutting their hair and my allergies are going nuts they've just had like an allergy like sneezing attack out there so i am going to end this video so that i can take my face makeup off actually i'm going to take a shower chelsea's taking a shower i need to figure out dinner and end our night this is night one on no school schedule thursday night april what day is today april 12th wish us luck and april. March. See, I'm already screwed. Oh dear. So they're having oranges and chocolate chip cookies for dinner. That's how well it's going so far. All right, you guys, take care. He's got to go to work tomorrow, so he got a haircut. We're gonna end our night here and say good night to you guys and wish us luck. You can't see that eye. It's really sore. I'm gonna go and wash it up. Take care and we'll see you later. Bye.